Oh, oh my God. Perhaps stop by H&M Home. Success, we found our sideboard. Oh, it's stunning. I want it. It's all black, it's what you call four post of it. because I'm going to be sharing with you my morning skincare routine hence why I have these on my wrists which are a game changer by the way I hate that feeling when you're doing like cleansing your face or doing any of your skincare and the water runs down your arms so I have these these were actually from a previous Elemis PR package but I'm very excited because I have a new Elemis discount code. You may have heard me mention on the last vlog that it was coming and it's here, but it's only here for a short period of time. So I'm going to leave it on the screen. I feel like you guys already know how much I love and use their products over the past few years. It's just always been within my skincare regimes, morning and evening. And my skin is needing a little bit of TLC this morning. It's feeling a little bit dry. It needs a glow. It needs a pick me up. Some of you messaged me last time I had the code because it was quite a while back now and it was after it expired. So like I said, I'll leave all of the terms and conditions down below and this is 25% off the product. So you can get your favorites, your top ups, like the cleansing balm, which I've actually already used this morning. I've already cleansed my face. I mean, you can see how much I use this. I do usually use this more in the evening, like taking my makeup off and melting it away. I don't think I've ever used another balm since I got hooked on this years ago when it comes to taking off my makeup. But I also do love the Rose Cleansing Balm as well. So I'm gonna link all the products down below. I'm gonna go in and use the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So I'm coming to at the bottom of these because I have been using them a little bit recently, but I don't know what it is. I've just been breaking out a little bit just here, but it has started to clear up and that's generally from using these to get rid of all them dead skin cells. And I recently got rid of all the peach fuzz on my face. I don't know if you guys actually do that as well because I find it, your makeup sits so much better. So my skin is feeling quite clean. And I like to use two like that in that kind of like motion, just so I know I'm getting everywhere. So I'm cleansed, I've exfoliated. I'm gonna go in with the Pro Collagen Marine Moisture Essence. My skin needs hydration right now. I don't know if you can see here, it's feeling quite dry because I had my eyebrow lamination a few weeks ago and I feel like my eyes always get dry after it. This is really good to use once you've cleansed and toned. So I obviously use the dynamic resurfacing pads. You can just put like two to three drops in your hand as so. And then what I like to do with this is use my gua sha to just drain my face of any puffiness. So I usually work in and then go outwards and also upwards. Just to like I said, I get so puffy in the morning and work it down my neck as well. But my skin has just feeling really dry. And I don't know if it's like the weather with it being hot, then rainy, then cold, and then hot. I don't know, it's just been a lot of changes, but this smells delicious. It's I literally just simply do my cheeks and then up my jawline as well. So also part of the summer glow package is the superfood oil and this is a really great one for the summer this is the glow priming moisturizer it gives your skin such a lovely base before you put on your makeup before i use them i'm actually going to use this one which i've been loving it's the vitamin c serum and this is also part of the dynamic resurfacing range and i'm just going to use two drops i like to always kind of have vitamin c within my skincare just to help with my pigmentation, which I'm sure you guys know about now. I talk about a lot. I would say my skin needs a little bit of extra hydration. So I'm gonna use the oil. Again, you can use the gua sha or like a face roller when you do an oil as well, because it's a really great base to do it with. 
because it just kind of slips around. I mean, a lot of people kind of freak out with using an oil on the face because they feel like it's going to break them out, but this Elemis one definitely doesn't. And then I always kind of flip between the day cream and then this, but I find that this one is actually really good for the summer, like I was saying, as a base for your makeup. So I'm going to put this on, then I'm of course going to be putting my SPF over the top. I have some SPF drops that I like to put on afterwards before I pop my makeup, but I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of makeup today. I'm going to go, probably just do like a no makeup makeup look, if that makes sense. And I don't know actually if I told you before what we're getting up to today. I'm in my workout gear. Obviously, it's the Adenola one. I'll link it. I recently got this one, which is the full top. I'll show you in the mirror after. But I'm going to Pilates this morning. I've been doing a local class, and it's Reformer Pilates. I am so addicted to Reformer Pilates. I just honestly love it. I'm just putting on a little bit of SPF now, by the way, on the top. Like I said, I do flip between the Elemis Day Moisture, which does have SPF. It has SPF 30, and I believe they do have one with 50 in as well. But because I used the Glow Moisturiser, just to give me a lovely glow base, which I needed this morning, I'm just putting it on over top. But like I was saying, I'm not sure if I told you. <gasps> oh! Oh my God. There is a huge spider coming down this window. And Chris is not home to get it. I'm just gonna have to talk to you guys to distract myself. So many creepy crawlies around at this time of year and obviously because the house is quite old, we're finding them everywhere and it's freaking me out. I'm going to Pilates this morning. I've been doing my local reformer Pilates class. I also do one Rebel, but I've actually been enjoying this a lot more and it's obviously so much easier for me to get to. So I'm trying to do it a lot in the week. Also drinking my water. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. I always use this, I'm sure you guys have seen it in my vlogs. It's the Nuvo Brow and Lash Conditioning Serum. But we are, sorry, I'm really going off track. We are going to a reclamation yard because we need to do some home shopping. We are on the look for a sideboard for our living room. And I cannot tell you how long I've been looking on websites and everywhere for a sideboard. I've just got a certain vision for it. And I really want like a reclaimed rustic one with deeper tones either like a dark brown or something i just have it in my head and i just haven't found one for a good price i saw one in home bond but they're really expensive um so we're going to discover a new reclamation yard which is called burgess it's around an hour away so hopefully it won't take too long and then we thought we'd make a day of it go find like a cozy pub due to the rain and just have a day out and do some home shopping so hopefully it'll be a successful trip and there's lots to update you on in the house we're going to be doing some painting wallpapering and getting started with the master bedroom as well i'm going to get myself together i've pretty much got my workout set on and i'm going to get myself to pilates this morning and then i'll pick up with you guys when we go home shopping <laughs> Yard. we've never been before it's called Burgess it's been like a good hour drive the traffic's been really weird today for us but I'm hoping that this one is going to be a little bit less pricey and we can look to find we're on the hunt for a sideboard for our living room and we also want to find like a really cool bookcase for the study so as you saw in the last vlog the sofa has arrived in the poof so we've been styling that room up a little bit and trying to like figure out how we want to finish it off with a bookcase because I did have the idea of doing like a built-in one but I just don't think the wall is big enough is it no. and also maybe gonna change the door we're still inside it there's so many things to think about so we thought let's just go see what they've got and then we're gonna make a day of it what is there to do when the weather's like this obviously we've got a lot to do tomorrow with looking at getting the panels painted we want to finish off um, 
the room which has basically got all like my wardrobes in and wallpaper that and then look at also getting started on the master bedroom as well so hopefully fingers crossed in this vlog we'll be able to have a productive one and you can see what we're getting up to at the house and i'll take you along with us today also i did like a no makeup makeup look if that makes sense i've really been loving the hourglass tinted vanish um it's literally like a tinted moisturizer but it's got a little bit more coverage it's so good again i mentioned it last week and i wore it then and i just put it on today because on the weekends i don't like wearing makeup but i wanted just a little something to pull myself together so i put that on and then literally just a little bit of charlotte tilbury blush this is the pink gasm put it on my lips with a little bit of lip balm zhuzhed up my eyebrows and put a tiny bit of mascara on and bob's your uncle I'm also re-wearing my trousers from Masma Duty because it was raining today I was like I just want to be comfy so these are just the perfect option and I'm aware I've been wearing these a lot recently but I'm not ashamed to out for a peek because I love these and they're such a good staple but I've just put it with a black t-shirt today instead of my Masma Duty top I normally style it with and then trainers because it's raining. So there's a whole little shack full of chopping boards. I don't know, this sounds really weird, but me and Chris do love a good chopping board. Chris more than me, actually. Um, that's a cool cabinet. Yeah, it's nice. Even when we do the kitchen. It's quite cool. Yeah, it's nice though. And this one next to you, obviously this one's a bit lower. That's lovely. It's very red. These are wicked as well. Like if you had one of these on the shelves, there's like, um at the back, do you know what I mean? It's like a decorative piece. And they've got all these cool bowls. I love these. Might take one or two for the shelves that we're gonna be decorating. Chris is loving it because he was just saying, I really need a coffee. And they've got a little coffee bar, which is free to help yourself. And then how cute, little cookies. I agree, I think it needs to be a block furniture. Come on, Pudge, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Pudge. Come on, boy. <laughs> no, Mommy, I don't want to go. Quite cool if you just put it on like the wall. There's some other little rustic mirrors here. Obviously, these are way too small. Next, yeah, you want a bit more height, height, don't you? No, you want it to feel yeah, you want it yeah, to, like length in the wall because you're as tall as that basically. No, this yeah, that height that's that height's perfect because it's got the detail at the top. No success! We found our sideboard, and how long have we been looking for this goddamn oh, sideboard? <laughs> Literally since the day we moved in. And honestly, I couldn't recommend this place enough. The guy that runs it was so nice, so helpful. He was an absolute ledge, and he said that this had just come in on Thursday, and he was even contemplating getting it for his house. Um, so I was like, let's just get it now. We measured it obviously with the tape measure, made sure the measurements work, but it's perfect. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's like a dark brownie color. I mean, by the time this vlog goes up, hopefully it'll be delivered because it's been getting delivered. That's An Anyo Park. It's really nice. Um, Sorry, it's getting delivered on Tuesday, which is very exciting. So they can do all deliveries. They have beautiful claim pieces, bookcases, baskets, tables. They also do flooring and they have oak beams as well, which we're looking to get when we do our renovation. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, absolutely loved it. We managed to pick up some bits and bobs as well. We got like a bowl. Did we get the chopping board? Um, no, we didn't get a chopping board. We got 
got some other little bits and bobs. We've also found a mirror that might work in the dining room. So we've got all the measurements for that. We're gonna go home and check if it works. Sorry, it keeps going in and out. We're gonna see if the mirror works and if so, then they can just load that onto our delivery for Tuesday. I just fell in love with this place. I said to the guy, I was like, I'm gonna be back here all the time. It is so nice. And yeah, they were just really helpful and friendly. I think it makes the world a difference and really good pricing. Like I was saying, I love Home Barn, but I do find sometimes the pieces are very pricey, whereas this is priced at a good price point. So really happy we've finally found a sideboard. But yeah, there's loads of cute villages around here. It's very Cotswolds here, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. That house. Oh, that must. Oh, is that, that it? Might be it? Yeah. Oh, it's stunning. come to interior heaven can we just for a minute look at this room that is a bedroom wow. and a half the and then so the light feature as well it's I all want wall, it. it's all walnut as well look and look how cozy everything looks like look at the floor and ev oh my god the walnut, the walnut is beautiful and that picture actual st oh my god so we thought our bed was super king. That's super king. Another one. <gasps> that is what you call four post bed. <laughs> Hi guys, we are back. I forgot to pick the camera back up because oh my god. So they've just refurbished the whole thing and opened it six weeks ago and it is just stunning. I think you can see from the videos that you saw, hello, um, the rooms, the interiors, the wine bar. We didn't actually have any of the food but I am actually going to be going back the end of next month to explore it and try out all the food, do some wine tasting. And I said to Chris, like, he's gonna come with me as well, because I've got a plus one, which is very exciting, but it is the most beautiful grounds and I can't get over the interiors in there. They're just so thought out and so, so stunning. So if you are a member, you, I think you get 25% off some of the interiors. Um, but we went round, we went round the museum in there. Oh, it was just so, so nice. So we had such a lovely afternoon. We ended up actually after that going to like a cute cozy pub, had such a lovely evening there. And then we've come back and it's still quite early and we're just checking out all the furniture that we've ordered, that it all fits and we're just so happy with the sideboard. I just feel like it was such a successful and productive day. I didn't go with the intention of getting a sideboard. We thought maybe we'd find the bookcase, but in the sideboard is actually one of the pieces we've really been looking at for ages now. And the fact that we found it, I'm very happy. I ended up getting a few more pieces, like I said. Like for instance, I got this tray here on the poof that you can see. I got that, I got like a bowl, which maybe you can see behind me. It's not gonna stay there. It's gonna go on the shelves when we decorate them. Um, we got this like Hogwarts. It's like holder for the kitchen. We're both obsessed with Harry Potter and it's like a reclamation, reclaimed wooden box, which I thought would be really cool for the kitchen. What else did we get, Bailey Booze? You had a lovely day out, huh? He was so cute in Anho Park as well. He was just like chilling on the sofa. The fact that it's dog friendly is so nice. Except when we couldn't go in the orangey, which is fair enough. It was a lovely restaurant, um, but we sat in the wine bar with him. So yeah, I ended up getting a few little bits. I also got a lovely reclaimed shelf, which is kind of like painted white. I will show you actually. I'm gonna put up in the kitchen for now. Obviously we are gonna be renovating the kitchen. Excuse me. 
we are going to be renovating the kitchen but in the meantime i want to make it nice and cute in there so just a very successful very lovely rainy summer's afternoon so we're going to chill out now i'm going to put the candles on in here and we said we're going to open a bottle of red and we're actually just going to sit and put the fire on it's actually got a little bit chilly this evening and play a board game and just have a cozy night in which i'm very much looking forward to so i will pick up with you guys in the morning <laughs> So this is the hallway currently, we've got Joa's white on the wall and then obviously it's panelled but the panels haven't been painted. We're still deciding if we want to do white on the dado rail or if we do the whole panels Joa's white to kind of give it that really flush look on the walls. I feel like the camera is picking it up to be a little bit more grey but in real life it's like a really nice warm beige. So another thing we're trying to decide is the stairs. Do we paint the stairs white and then we're going to have a runner come down them? Because the runner we like would not stand out on the wooden stair. But then I do feel like we're going to be changing the colour of the wood throughout the house. And then this will look very different from it. Because obviously all of these tiles are going to be ripped up. This is all going to be um, different tiling. And then back there we're going to be doing like a restoration floorboards when we do the kitchen so for now let's focus on painting this because it's just been put off for ages so i'm gonna do the coat which is this one the farron ball that focuses white and light tones these are the interior wood primer and undercoat so this is white anyway so i'm gonna put it on here and then we can decide if we like it white or not and then obviously if not we can just paint over it with the joe's white paint and the good thing about the paint farron ball one is this is the new one so this is the dead flat and as you can see here it works on interior walls woodwork and metal so you don't have to buy all the different paints obviously I've got the undertone which is the primer but this you can if you say if you had a cabinet you wanted to paint it the same color as your wall or like the wood finishings like coven skirt in for instance stairs like I was saying we could paint it the dead flat white on the stairs so we've been using this obviously a lot throughout the rooms in the house I just love this color like I said it's not really picking up too well on the camera here but you can see it's a lovely beige once these panels are done it's going to look really nice but you can see they go up so high up here so we're really underestimating probably how long this job is going to take us and So I've done the bottom panels as you saw and now I'm going to start on this wall. I actually love this wall because it's so symmetrical. So I'm going to start with the bottom panels. I've literally just quickly had a little go here as you can see and then hopefully get this finished. But I couldn't obviously get to the taller ones here on my own. I could only do the bottom ones without Chris's help. This is the first coat done. I've actually done two coats of the white dado rail, but I've only done one coat on the panels. And don't ask me how I did it, but I managed to do these long panels and get all the way up there. I was basically hanging for my life up on the banister, but for the love of interiors and getting this wall done, I managed to do it. So I'm actually really happy with the color that this has turned out. It's made such a big difference painting the panels. It's made the wall look a lot softer, which I absolutely love. And I think we made a good choice with doing it the dado rail white, given it matches with the banister and like our coven and skirting. So I think it's just broken up the wall 
and I'm glad I actually went with white. So the panels just need a second coat, but I will lead you up so you can see I've done all of these to paint this vase. I actually got this from H&M Home, but I wanna paint this white. I'm thinking this needs to be like a table here, kind of like a side table, not this stool, so it's higher, and then have the plant higher so you can see it over the balcony here. And then these are just from outside, these lovely branches. But the only part I haven't done is this wall into this hallway and the panels in there. So that's my next job. Here, yeah, and can you just see how much better this wall looks? I know obviously the panels were there before, but just painting them has brought so much kind of warmth to the wall up here. And it just obviously looks a lot more cohesive and it's just such a nice, soft, calming color. So, like I said before, this is Joa's White Fire and Ball. I absolutely love it. So, again, the panels do need a second coat. You can kind of see kind of the wood coming through up here because these panels, we had to pop out and get different ones. These are a little bit darker, and I could tell when I was painting them. But we're going to put three pictures on here and then wall lights to bring this in. I need to find, obviously, this is going to be <laughs> different. I need to find like a lovely kind of like chandelier light to come down here. And then we're getting a blind fitted from this big window, which I absolutely love. You can see here. But I'm definitely going to have a play around with this table. I feel like it's looking a little bit sad. It needs a little bit more life decor on here and I think a bit more height maybe or different branches and bringing in some colors but I just love this hallway it was actually one of the things when we first viewed the house that gave me that kind of wow factor how it scoops up around here and then this gorgeous big Georgian window just looks out into nature so I think once we get a lovely blind on here and I'm just going to play around with this it will really start to come together and as you can see on this side the taller ones which honestly I don't know how I did it on my own but once you put your mind to something you can do it I'm gonna get myself a coffee and crack on with the rest of the day and get my work done and I'll pick up with you guys tomorrow Good morning guys. The sun has finally come out to play today. You might hear Bailey in the back. But I'm just about to drop him off because I'm actually going into the, oh, it's coming off the tripod. I'm actually going into the city today because I've got a Pilates class this morning at Nobu with Charlotte Tilbury. Hence why I've got like no makeup, makeup look on again, which I feel like I'm doing on my vlogs all the time at the minute. And again, it's the Hourglass skin tint, which I've been loving. So I'm gonna go do that this morning and then I've got a lunch meeting with my friend who works in PR, but also she is just my friend. Um, so that'd be nice. We're checking out a new restaurant, which I've had on my list for a while now. It's called Nessa. So yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me. I've got my Adenola set on underneath this and just hope that the sun stays out to play today. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. A picture I could see if I just close my eyes Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds To the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how I know I was born to sing from being in London. I had my class this morning, like I said, and then I met my friend for lunch at Nessa in Soho. Highly recommend, by the way, if you're in London or you're visiting London, it was so good. We just had, I think it was the all day menu. We just had a few light bites for lunch. But of course, on the way home, I had to stop by H&M Home. I feel like I haven't been in for a while and I wanted to get a few new pieces for especially the sideboard coming and we're getting our shelves fitted so i wanted to get some pieces style on them i also just quickly popped into our kit and got another one of the heavy white plain tees these are the best if you've watched a lot of my capsule wardrobe videos you know i always include them book to put on the new shelf we've got for the kitchen to style that this is just the polpo one venetian cookbook and i was actually looking through they had an open book obviously this is um packaged 
in the H&M Home store and I was looking through a few of the recipes and they look so good. I just picked up a few pieces, like they had some nice face skin. I actually saw a lady next to me buying one and I was like, I kind of wish I'd put that in my basket now, but I ended up getting another one of these pots and then I got the bigger version to plant a nice plant in here and then possibly put this on the sideboard. Just need loads of like decor pieces to style with. I also got this stoneware vase, which is a little bit like irregular, which I liked. And you can see the finish on it. Again, it's kind of like restored finish, which I'm really loving at the minute. And I also got a rug. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, but I've got this for my wardrobe room to put along. It's kind of like a runner. But I'm just not sure about the tassels on it, but I really liked the print and the green in it. So I'm going to see if that works upstairs. I saw this cushion online and it was sold out. Hopefully it's back in stock. If so, I will link them all down below for you guys. But I loved this frill edge. It's cream with the black piping. And then I obviously got the cushion filler for it as well. I also got a little chopping board to put on the shelves with a book and we always need a little chopping board if I'm doing like a quick salad. And this glass tray as well which I believe yeah it was only £12.99, um, not glass sorry, gold tray just to put little bits and bobs or maybe put some candlesticks on here. Again just a great styling piece to play around in the living room because the sideboard has arrived very excited. I had to move this sideboard in on my own with the delivery man. It was so heavy, but I managed to do it. He was like cracking up at me. And I'm very excited to show you the sideboard. I've just got myself together. I was not gonna live in my Adeno this set all day. I've just had a shower and just kind of brushed through my hair. I'm having a no makeup day today. I feel like I wanna give my skin a rest. And how many times do I say that on the vlog? But it's because when I'm usually vlogging, it's when I'm at home and I'm just, in my comfies and we're all friends here so i'm sure you guys don't always wear makeup and all dressed up at home but i have put a lovely dress on this is from abercrombie i actually featured this in my last video the what i wore in a week i've been wearing this so much and then i've just got a striped cardigan over the top because it keeps going cold and hot and i just don't know what to wear so a nice floaty dress with a cardigan kind of my go-to at home at the minute but I'm gonna show you the sideboard. It is in and I've been playing around styling it. So I know that I'm gonna be changing it all the time, but I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Ta-da, here she is in all her beauty. And I am so happy that we found, I feel like this just answered everything I needed for this space. I really wanted that kind of like rustic, dark toned, reclaimed sideboard. And this is exactly what it is. Like I said, I'm probably gonna play around with the styling on it, which I will show you. But I also wanted to show you, kind of from like this point of view, at the back of the living room here. Got the long coffee table, which is in. I've got these cute, I think these are called Ananomies. I'm probably butchering that, but they're from our garden, homegrown, and they look so cute in here. So I just think it works perfectly, the size of it. I know, obviously, there is a gap here. And the reason for that is because Eventually, when we're going to be doing our renovation, which excitingly we've been working on the plans with our architect, this door here is going to be a big archway, which we're kind of deciding on now, but we think we're going to have sliding doors within the archway. So I don't want anything here because obviously that's going to be kind of a walkway through. Hence why the sideboard works perfectly because it's not too big but it's big enough to fill the space. I've just put a few bits on here. This is actually the mirror that was in the dining room, which didn't work in the dining room. And now we've decided we don't think it works in here. I feel like it's like the unloved mirror of the house that needs to find a spot. But the only reason for it is I think it's just the color of gold. So I'm gonna go to B&Q, varnish on it and see if I can kind of mute it. Because I think nonetheless, the shape of it does work. So I don't want anything too big on this wall because obviously of the tree and everything else that's gonna be going on in the room. But I've ended up so far just putting in these candlesticks. I actually burnt these um, for a few hours when I was just styling it and they've gone down quite a bit. Then I've actually got this plant that I went and got from the garden center. I just loved the kind of texture this brings. And then this is the pot from H&M Home, which I showed you guys. I've got my diffuser on here, which is the pomegranate noir. 
I love this smell and it honestly really does smell out the room. Then this book holder, the gold, again, it kind of ties in with the gold details with the mirror, the lamp and the candle holders. This is again from H&M Home. And then I've just put a fashion book in here, which I thought was a quite nice idea to have it open like this. So when people come over, it's just kind of something they can look through, it's a talking point. And then this is the lamp that we've had for a while now from H&M Home. I do feel like it's too thin on here that maybe we need a thicker base one and this to go elsewhere would work quite well actually in the study on the desk and then do like a thicker maybe ceramic base lamp on here which I'll have a look for but for now this is just how I've styled it. I've also put the runner that I got from H&M Home next to it which I'm still undecided if it works or not, hence why the label's still on. This should go upstairs in my wardrobe room, but I don't know if this is going to clash too much with the wallpaper that Chris has been doing up there. But I am so happy with the drawers. I haven't like filled them out at all yet. I've just literally put some kind of like random bits and bobs, like matches and some picture frames and kind of like bits of decor that we've got left over that I'll be using on the shelves. You can see up close the details of this and I just loved the top of it as well. I think it's so nice and it kind of gives you that element that you don't have to worry about it, that it's not going to scratch because it is just that kind of rough finish which I really do love. This room is really starting to come together which is making me very happy. We are slowly but surely getting there. We were actually meant to be getting the shelving fitted this week but we've had another delay on it because the shelving basically is so bespoke because one side of the shelf is going to be thinner than the other it's hard to explain the way it's going to fit into the arches in here and also in the study but because they're being custom built it's just taken a little bit longer which means we've had to delay our contract to coming over as well so fingers crossed next week they will be getting installed and then the fireplace we've still probably got another two weeks to wait on because i just checked in with them actually they're actually sourcing the materials from portugal i believe and they need to still be shipped over but obviously we're still on the hunt for a sofa we are very undecided on that and the curtains are going at the back the ikea ones do not work in here and then i'll be ordering the blind on here getting the bench fitted and also we want to get like a bigger rug for the space as well so lots of little bits and bobs and then i'm thinking to put the artwork which you can kind of see here on behind the sofa up on this wall there we go if i point at the right place and frame it. This was the shelf that we actually picked up from Burgess Reclamation Yard as well. I might get a few of these, but we'll just quickly put it up here in the kitchen just to add a little bit of decor in here. Um, I just put our like tea bag holders, some greenery, and the cookbook and chopping board that I got from HM Home. But I feel like it just adds a little bit of something onto this wall. My mum also sent us these plates, which she actually got from the yard that I went to in Spain with her, there's an amazing one, and they had these like all dusty, and I think they were like five euro a plate, all hangers for them, they're not going to go on this wall, they're going to go somewhere else, but I would like them kind of stacked on the wall to add a little bit of character, which I think is a really cute idea, maybe in the hallway or in the kitchen, these side bits of where the cabinetry is, and maybe put them here, just to add a little bit more decor, but these are so cute, I love them. And that is everything so far. Chris has also been wallpapering at the wardrobe room, which I'll show you on the next vlog once it's pretty much finished. And hopefully the showers and everything else will be coming along in next week's vlog as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you did enjoy this one, please do give it a like. And I'll be coming back with a lot more because I really do love doing these home vlogs and showing you what's happening with the house and everything is slowly but surely getting there and I'm just in my element at the minute being at home and working on it and all the designs are coming together like I said we've been working with our architect for the renovations which will hopefully get underway soon but like I said I'm going to leave the vlog off here I'm going to take Bailey for a good walk and I will see you in next week's vlog <laughs>